Tonight, confusion surrounds the search for a missing Malaysia Airlines jetliner. The search area was first focused in the South China Sea, but now it shifted west to include the Strait of Malacca, one of the world's busiest shipping channels. The Malaysian military revealed today its radar shows the plane may have a, done a U-turn and flown back over the country hundreds of miles off course at a low altitude before it disappeared. Tonight, KCAL 9's Randy Page is live in Camarillo, where he spoke to one of California's leading aviation experts about the latest in the investigation. Randy. That's right. Barry Schiff is that pointing out that we are now into day four and still no sign of any oil slick, any wreckage, no evidence of any distress call. This is still very much a mystery. I try to figure out what, what they went through, what happened. I'm having a great amount of difficulty. Tonight, Southern California aviation expert Barry Schiff says what happened inside the cockpit of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 remains a mystery. But a piece of the puzzle fell into place today, which helps to answer one important question. Why hasn't wreckage from the 775,000 pound airliner been found? We've been looking in the wrong place. It was learned today the Boeing 777 veered off its flight path and was traveling in the opposite direction when it disappeared from Malaysian military radar. That means the aircraft carrying 239 people could have made it into the Malacca Strait, nearly 350 miles from its original flight path. Now the question is, why did the plane veer so far off course? The change in course could be because of a, a catastrophic problem aboard the airplane that necessitated an immediate return to their home airport, or uh, they had to make the turn because of uh, being forced to do so by uh, some criminal element. Schiff, who's logged 28,000 hours in more than 300 types of aircraft, including passenger jets, says there is simply not enough known to draw any real conclusions. And we have also learned that two men who were traveling on that plane using stolen passports have no ties to any extremist groups. In fact, we now are told that they're actually on that plane, we believe, in order to seek asylum. So the mystery continues. Live in Camarillo, Randy Page, KCON 9 News.